Hey guys and welcome back to my Warframe Beginner's Guide. Um, as you can see we are back on our new account and let's continue the story from there. Location Tenno, the farm we may have a segment. problem. The colony is unresponsive. Get to the surface so we can see what's going on. Okay, so the foundry is basically the part of your ship where you craft everything. So let's get that segment and see what happens. I was afraid of this. The Grenier are here, and I cannot find any signs of living colonists. You still have a job to do. Find the foundry segment. As you can see, missions have a sort of mini quest now. that you can do. Let's push escape in the middle here. For example, this mission we we require to get 30 rifle kills. Those are just missions that give you extra affinity and you can do them or you don't have to. It's up to you whether you want to do them or not. Alarms have been reset. You located the foundry segment. Now pick it up. Good. Your ship is one step closer to completion. Now, there is one more thing you need to do. Eliminate all Grenier and provide justice for the colonists. Soon the worm will be in your spine, and I will control this warframe of yours. I will purge your doting mother and bring you home. Okay, we are going to enter into an extermination mission from here, which is basically kill every enemy on the map. So first we received our segment, now we go straight into our extermination mission. You can see the amount of enemies required to kill just below your mini-map on the top left. As you can see we've killed 13 out of 33 already, so we just have to kill 20 more and we should be done here. We're almost done with our secondary objective in the map, which is get our 30 rifle kills. And let's get it here. As you can see, we get 5,000 infinity just by completing that. Uh, your mini objective will change from mission to mission, and it will give different affinity depending on how difficult or easy it is to complete. We only have a few enemies left. Let's finish this up. For some nation missions, the mini map should show you where the next enemy will be, and it should go you towards the extraction zone as well. So you can just try follow your mini map. And two enemies left. Last guy. There we go. Now we can extract and hopefully install our foundry segment. And that's it. Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. And we get a few new mods as well. Excellent. Your foundry segment is ready for installation, operator. Will the operator build a cephalon to replace me? Okay, let's install the foundry segment. Foundry restored. 
Here, the operator will craft many powerful weapons and tools to exact revenge for dismantling me. To expand your arsenal. Oh no. Operator, our component storage has been looted as well. Typical corpus. Sure, the blueprint is free, but jack up the components. Operator, we will need resources in order to build the countermeasure blueprint. Tenno, I just received a very explicit message from your ship, Cephalon. If you're looking for resources, why didn't you just say so? I know just the place, but I demand an apology. My mother is no gymnast, and she would never eat those things. You can go straight to... Operator, I am sorry. Wow. You may want to get a new ship, Cephalon, when you can afford it. <laughs> that one seems glitched. I've marked your navigation with a place I know. It's good for resources, if you can stand the cold. Okay, so let's go grab our resource cache. Obviously we can't build it yet without our resource cache, so let's get started. Darvo's intel suggests that this outpost is host to several rich supply caches. Raid the caches and take what you need. This outpost belongs to the Corpus, a secretive but extremely powerful merchant cult known to be working with the Grenier. Darvo will fill you in. Legions of robots, mindless automatons, freaking lasers. These guys are bad news, but they're also loaded, which is why you're here. Technically, this is stealing, but don't let that bother you. The Corpus aren't exactly beacons of moral fortitude either. They sell anything to anyone. Don't get me wrong, I like wrong a lot. But I don't sell my wares to the damned Grenier. That's unforgivable. You have murdered my son and disgraced me before my queens. But soon, the Ascaris will complete its task and bring you to me. Keep moving, there is more here. Good work, but you're not done yet. Okay, so as you can see, we got quite a few resources just by breaking open those two caches. Obviously, normal crates won't give as much. You can see what you get in the middle bottom of the screen. There, we only got a sniper ammo, which we're not even using. And here we got credits. As for alarms, you'll want to hack your alarms. As soon as possible, because for corpus missions, if you do not, well, get rid of the alarm, sometimes a bursa will come up to you. Bursas are very powerful enemies that can usually decimate a lower level player, such as my new account here. And we get two more clicks from that crate. That should be enough resources to craft our first item. The Ascaris has reached your mind and rendered your lotus mute. You will return to me over your own free will. Now we just need to get to extraction and we should be able to craft our first item. Crafting system should be explained once we can install this final component in order to be able to craft this stuff. I believe this final component is just used to uh, store all your materials that you've collected, such as the stuff we've already collected in this mission. How do you check what you've already collected? Well, well let's clear this real first. Go to your menu. Okay. 
menu and you can click on view mission progress and on the left and middle you should see what you've already obtained for this mission. Since we've broken these three caches, we got these three from the caches. Or for PC, uh, I'm not sure about the console command, but for PC, if you push P, it brings up the exact same screen as well. And let's get to the extraction. And we're done. We get a few new good mods as well. Are you all right? This part of your journey is over, Tenno. I admire you for your struggle, but now <laughs> I am part of you. Lotus, do something. Help the operator. We Grenier are millions strong. But with the flaw, we are diseased, rotten, sterile. But now, we have you! Operator, do not abandon me again. Build the countermeasure. Okay, so this is our first introduction to crafting, as we can see. I did this for my love. My queens, you will forgive my insubordination when I deliver you to them. Our love will be reborn as we feed on your divine blood. Our children will flourish without disease. And I will die at last, at peace. Father, grandfather. What do you think you're doing? Okay, so as I was saying, this is our first introduction to crafting. If you obtain any blueprints from anywhere, such as the market, if you bought them, or if you do any void runs and get blueprints from there, you should be able to see all the blueprints in your foundry here and what you can build from them. So for now, what we want to build is this Ascaros Negator. Let's just build that. It says zero minutes and actually it's just 30 seconds so we'll let that build. While that's building we can check out a few blueprints. As you can see we have 23,000 credits right now so we can go to weapons and let's check out secondary blueprints. We can see that if blueprints each have a different cost for example 15,000 for Act Boltos, 15,000 for Act Furious like Vassas will be 50,000 for example and say you like a specific weapon you can go to the blueprint like say we want to pick up a Furious which is a pretty good machine pistol you can see the rec crafting requirements that it requires so in addition to the 20,000 for the blueprint you'll need another 25,000 to actually craft the weapon um, this is the Magnus and it'll require 2 Oricon cells, 400 alloy plates, and 100 ferrite. So let's go pick up our Ascaris Negator. Boris Ascaris. I thought... I thought I lost you. Oh no. The Ascaris had a tampering failsafe. It's burrowed into you and armed itself. We'll need to find Vor before it detonates. Get to navigation. Boarding a Grenier ship to access their personnel records will be the fastest way to find Vor. Operator, what are you waiting for? Mm. 
Odis assumes finding Vor implies violence. Hello, operator. May I suggest you access navigation and save your life? For my sake. Okay, so let's go grab our Mercury Nav segment that is required to actually be able to kill Vor. Let's start this mission and this will give us a Mercury Nav segment. So planet nav segments are basically uh, basically unlocks the planet on your star map and allows you to be able to do missions on there. So this mission looks to be a spy mission, but I'm not too sure as of now. It says to just grab the Mercury nav segment, so it might be a retrieval mission like when we grabbed our farmer segment. Okay, for Grenier alarms, um, if the map is high enough level, sometimes a Manic will spawn. Manics are sort of these teleporting assassin-like enemies that will try to kill you. They are apparently a countermeasure as to the Corpus Versus. But yes, um, if possible, you'll want to hack your alarms as much as possible. Alarms successfully hacked. The location is returning to normal security levels. Okay, I think that is the segment over there. Okay, it is not a spy mission, it is just a... What is this? Ah, yes, yeah, so it's just a retrieval. We have what we... Wait. Tenno, coordinates in this nav segment put the galleon on a direct course to a convoy of colonists. You have a choice. You can extract now, or you can disable this galleon and save the colonists. Saving the colonists could jeopardize this mission. I recommend you head straight to extraction, but the choice is yours. <laughs> the Ascaris failsafe is attacking your systems. Your shield capacity has just been halved. You're wasting precious time, Tenno. Okay, so some missions can change uh, halfway through the mission, or maybe if you've completed the mission, it will change into a completely different you've mission. You've reached the ship's power systems. Destroy the reactor. Like the mission we just did now was a sort of retrieval, and now it is a sabotage. But we could have also chosen to just extract as soon as we got our nav segment. But for the sake of story, let's complete this sabotage that as well. That should take the pressure off the colonist ship, but you need to get out of there. Get to extraction before the reactor goes critical. Okay, now let's extract. And we should be able to access Mercury once we have this nav segment. And that's done for this mission. Yes, we obtained the Mercury nav signal. Awaiting navigation upgrade. Okay, let's install that segment. Oh, did it have to be Mercury? The heat drives me. Solar rail navigation to Mercury enabled, operator. The detonator is charging up. You need to bring Vor down. He thinks he can capture you again. Don't worry. I will be with you. Let us show him how much you have learned. Okay, so before we continue, I want to expand upon the crafting system first. So say we want a different weapon. Well, first of first of first things we should do is check how much space we have for weapons. So you can just go to your inventory, 
and click on the weapon section as you can see we have seven slots open for new weapons and let's check out the market for some blueprints we can acquire so say we wanted a new melee weapon we could go to melee blueprints and let's say we wanted the Ankyros, a fist type weapon as you can see we don't have some of the required materials so right now let's skip that for now let's say we actually wanted to go for the Kogake instead they are also fist type weapons but you use your full body to attack instead let's say we really want to craft it so it costs 15,000 for the blueprint and then another 30,000 to actually craft it we only have 30,000 right now so let's go ahead and buy the blueprint okay now that we have the blueprint we can go down to our foundry and we should be able to see it being able to craft over here now we just need to gather enough credits and resources to be able to craft that so that is basically how you are able to craft new weapons new warframes etc you can even craft um, I believe arc wings as well okay so that about concludes it for this episode and I'll see you next time guys. Bye bye.